Pull up in that 04 pedal to the metal says she want to hit the flow more. Let's see. The Atlanta Falcons are trying to talk 158 year old Calais Campbell out of retirement to play on a defensive line. That's all you need to know about their defense. First, uh, let's, let's subscribe to Atlanta Sports Unlimited right here for the greatest coverage of Atlanta sports teams on his YouTube channel and we're sponsored by Prize Picks. All right, you go over or under. Various players, two to five different sports. Put in this promotion code here, ASU, as in Atlanta Sports Unlimited. Also, my books, The Real Hank Aaron right here. I got some exciting news about that. Come on, pretty soon. Hey, www.realhankaron.com. Also, Red Brick Magic. You can get this at uh, www.redbrickmagic.com. Give me an autograph. It. And big book signing this weekend at Miami, Ohio. I'll be there for Alumni Weekend if you want to uh, get it from me personally. Now, let's get it. Clayus Campbell. Clayus Campbell last year was their second best defensive player. I mean, number one was Jesse Bates. We'll get to that in a minute. But this guy, Clayus Campbell, was their second best defensive player, and he retired. They're trying to talk him out of retirement. You know why? Because their defense is so bad. They're, it's so bad. That you're, I'm going to get to that in a minute. But anyway, uh, so everybody's concentrating when it comes to the Falcons on the quarterbacks. Why? Because the Falcons forced this situation. They signed Kirk Cousins for $180 million during the offseason to be their starting quarterback. Then they shocked everybody with the number eight pick overall in this past draft for Michael Penix Jr., another quarterback, instead of going for Dallas Turner, the pass rusher, who was right there. I mean, we were talking about a Falcons team that has had six consecutive losing seasons. Yeah, the quarterback situation wasn't the best. I mean, Desmond Ritter... But you know what was worse? It was the defense. It was pathetic, particularly when it came to a pass rush. Yeah, you know, the last one, two, three, four, five. The last five years, the Atlanta Falcons have had fewer sacks collectively than any team in the National Football League. Yet yeah, they didn't adjust that. So that's why I asked Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates he had an outstanding year last year at safety. You know, pretty honest person. I said, Jesse, I said, are you pretty much satisfied with uh, the, your pass rushing situation? I don't know what the answer was going to be. And he responded very quickly, I don't think Terry is done yet. That, as Terry, as in Terry Fontenot, the Falcons general manager, as in saying that he needs to make another move. But you know what? There's no other big move for him to make out there because he blew it with the draft by not going for a pass rusher who was sitting right there in Dallas Turner. I, I mean, and all the top-notch free agents he could have gotten, they're gone too. So, I mean, so, so now he's talking about bringing back Calais Campbell, who was the second-best defensive player for the team last year for a, a mediocre defense. And Calais Campbell is that's 150. He's like 250 years old. Ah, this is not good. No, it's the Falcons. This is my falsetto wicked potion with the slow pour. This is my addiction, make me want to go for more.